Is new at 10 tonight, a mother who is now in a wheelchair after being shot twice is sharing her story with 11 News. She is just one of a long list of victims who police say are associated with a carjacking spree in Pueblo last month. Police say that her suspected shooter is only 12 years old. The 11 News reporter Caitlin Quisenberry sat down with her today and tells us this attack has changed her life in a major way. Shanice Sena is a single mother of two whose whole life changed while she was walking to her car in front of her house on the northeast side of Pueblo. I, I, I do blame myself a little bit for it. Shanice Sena tells me she had just dropped her kids off at school and was getting back in her car when two other cars pulled up next to her. Should I have just given them my keys? In a matter of seconds, Sena was facing down the barrel of a gun with a person in a face mask staring back at her. He demanded her car keys. Uh, I turned my back for one second. No hesitation. I'm two shots fired. Um, I'm on the floor. I, I couldn't move my legs. That's when I started to panic. I started screaming. She says one of those bullets entered her back, just missing her spine. The other ricocheted into her bladder and then shattered her femur in her right leg. Senna is now confined to this wheelchair. Her new reality is endless doctor's appointments, medications, and bed rest. You know, everyone having to help me with just about everything. Since the attack, the family has updated their security systems at home, trying to get back to a sense of feeling safe. We're going outside a little more, but they can't even go play outside. Police tell me they believe there were four carjackers involved in this crime spree. They say they are all minors and all facing first degree attempted murder charges. It will be up to the district attorney to decide if they are charged as adults in this case. I feel they should be charged as adults, not just because of what's happened to me, but there are so many other people that have been hurt. Senna's goal is now getting out of this wheelchair. Yes, I will walk again. It's going to take some time, but I'm going to walk, and that makes me very happy. Senna tells me she also hopes to go back to work after she heals. Until then, she says the bills are still coming in. There is a GoFundMe for the family. We have a link on our website, kktv.com. Just click on our story.